Welcome back from the short break. I found this very interesting and very special. I've not seen it around. It's just an automated bio lock, you oh. know, which you will access with the fingerprint card access or PIN. Mm. This we're using a fingerprint now. So what happens is just press your fingerprint there. When it turns green, it opens. If you need to lock, just lock it back. And when I'm at the door, I've seen my face the other side, right? Yes, it takes a picture of, of um, whoever tries to access the door. Mm -hmm. So when it is locked, do you have access to that on your phone? Yes, I also have access on my phone. It will show me exactly who has been to my door oh, yes. real time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll show you there. Yeah. So wow. it shows you a list of everyone who has accessed. Yes. Uh, and is this open to clients in case they need to order it? Yes, yes. Why not? We can have this installed for you. Each trailer is unique to the client in design, specifications, and requirements. Unlike all the other things you see for trailers, you do not buy like you're buying tomatoes. You have to come, we sit down, we understand your user requirement, how much space you require, which equipment you require, and then we do a custom build for you, for your business. So, if you're planning to get yourself a food truck, going digital is the obvious choice for efficient, successful operations. The more technology and digital adoption you utilize in creating a plan for your business, the less paperwork and stress you will have. And that way, if you are running your business inside brick and mortar, that is your ordinary restaurant, your ordinary office, your ordinary name it, anything service based. You need to now extend the service, take it to the customer. That's why you see uh, most of our businesses are now designed to be on wheels, to make it possible for you to extend the service and take it to where your customer is. This seems like a new idea when it comes to Uganda or to Africa, but it's been done elsewhere. However, we need to move this to the next level. See now you have a trailer that you attach to your mm -hmm. car and then mm -hmm. deliver to an event and then run a small kitchen, run a small washing bay. We have people who have ordered uh, bouquet trailers, you know, to sell flowers. The ideas are countless. So yes, you can order this from us and we will custom make it to your requirement. How long will it take you to customize? Well, like different builds, like you see what they build out there. If you're building a Mercedes-Benz bus, it takes you longer than a Mercedes-Benz car. So depending on how complex you want it. So it depends on the complexity, but normally I'm looking at between 28 days and 60 days, I should have something working for you. Mark, does that mean for us who love to travel to the villages and uh, maybe sometimes accommodation is a bit scanty, do you have a solution for mobile homes? Uh, yes, that, that is my uh, broader plan. It is my uh, mid-term plan to build uh, mobile homes, yes. So we should have something working for you. We've built one here before, but it's been taken before. That's why we got those uh, bunker beds uh, at the back there. But um, it's been taken before. But yes, we build camper homes also. What, what would be the source of energy for some of these things? Like we've known uh, solar, is it grid? How do you maximize the power consumption? Now, I can tell you, like I said, we're called outpost trailers. Um, outpost means that our trailers are going to be out there. You're posted out there. Now, when you're out there, naturally, you cannot be on the grid. So we provide uh, solar panels. The trailer is actually self-contained. You have solar panels and then you have your batteries 
and we are also now uh, uh, working with uh, hybrid inverters where you don't need the heavy batteries because the trailers in themselves you need to keep it as light as possible because it's being hauled by a car so that's why we're going hybrid so we do uh, flexible solar panels and then um, hybrid inverters to provide power for you yes I think for me that marks it it's very important that we keep on utilizing solar energy thank you so much for being part of this episode of tech nation if you want to be featured on the show reach us out on our social media platforms at tech nation underscore ug from me and the team it's a wrap and a good night ciao